why rejection is often the pathway to success. Why rejection is often set up for our future success. Hello, y'all. I'm Diana and Brianne. Well, I got to thinking about rejection today and how often people look at rejection as a very negative thing. And I can understand that. I felt rejection in my life and initially, um, a while, you know, in the past, I looked at rejection as a negative thing. Now I look at rejection as a very positive thing that can happen in one's life. When we're rejected, often it can be for a number of reasons. And one of those reasons can be that it's just not the right fit for us. It's just not the right situation. And sometimes we see it and sometimes we don't, but often another person senses that. Even a person that really should not reject us um, ends up rejecting us. And we go, oh my gosh, they rejected us. And I can't believe it. They rejected me, you know, and yet often people spiritually, I feel, believe that, well, maybe we just don't fit in that situation. It could be a job, it could be a social relationship, it could be a personal relationship. And I've had rejection in all three areas. I remember this one job I took and I put an application in and they hired me out of 37 applicants. And it was a wonderful job initially, but what I found is that the whole work environment was chaotic and people bickered with each other nonstop. And that began to wear on me because I, I don't like to be around that. And so what I did is I put my, res my resignation in. But as the days got closer, um, I didn't have another job secured in place yet. And so I went back to my boss and they had been upset that I was going to quit because they really liked my work and they liked me. But they had gone and hired someone else in the meantime to fill my place. And so they could not put me back in my position after a certain date. And so I had a sense of rejection, even though I understood why. And it was really my own doing. And so I thought, okay, I feel this sense of rejection. Now what? Well, the very next day, I ended up securing an amazing job, and which was far superior than the job I was leaving. And I was the boss, and I didn't have any bickering. There was no bickering on that job. <laughs> In a way, I was kind of like the Maytag repairman who just kind of sat there, but it was a wonderful, wonderful job. And um, so that rejection, in a sense, set me up for a future success. I've been in social groups that I did not fit in. I knew I didn't fit in because, well, it was a negative situation. You know, perhaps a lot of bickering was going on. Well, it, a lot of bickering was going on in this one social group I was in. And I was always trying to put a positive spin on it, trying to talk people, you know, repoint them, redirect them into a positive direction, trying to come up with solutions rather than create problems. But no, they just created more and more problems. They didn't want solutions because that's what that group was sort of about. And so they kind of subtly pushed me out. And I probably would have gotten out relatively soon anyhow. But I was kind of, you know, I kind of give people extra chances. And they kind of pushed me out, but it was the best thing in the world. They saw what I knew, but I wasn't acting upon. I wasn't removing myself from a group that was kind of very negative. And they saw that I was a very positive person and that I really didn't belong in a group that thrived on negativity. Because some groups thrive on negativity. That's what they're about. And so I got pushed out, even though, be it subtly, and I ended up moving on to a, another great social group that didn't have any of those problems, that embraced me and that was wonderful. Whereas the other group didn't embrace positivity. They didn't want a positive spin on anything. They wanted bickering and they wanted chaos and they wanted drama. And so the next group that I went to, it was the opposite of that. It was just wonderful. So that rejection pushed me forward into something far better.
I remember many years ago, I had a boyfriend. He wasn't a boyfriend. He was more like a date. And I dated him a few times. And then I ended up going back to my ex-boyfriend. And when he found out that I went back to my ex-boyfriend, he told me, he said, if you don't go out with me, if you're going to go back to your ex-boyfriend, I'm not going to see you in the future. And I said, okay, you know. So when I finally broke up with the ex-boyfriend for good, I called this guy back and he said, what did I tell you? I told you that I'm not going to see you in the future. He held grudges and lo and behold, you know, I moved on in my life. And of course now I, you know, the happy ending, I've been married nearly 30 years to a wonderful, amazing man, the love of my life that I would not have met maybe had I reconnected with that guy that rejected me. And he went on to have several divorces and, you know, several businesses that failed. And he had a lot of issues. And had I got caught up into all of that, um, perhaps my life would have never turned out like it does, like it is today. So his rejection set me up for my successes. So what I'm trying to say is that when we get rejected, it's not always a good feeling. But I've learned to look at it as a positive event that has taken place to push me forward, not take me backwards. Sometimes we feel like we're being taken backwards when indeed we're moving forward. We're moving forward towards our successes. Well, from my house to yours, may God bless you all. And I'll talk to you all soon again. And we are having this beautiful, beautiful day out here. It's just absolutely beautiful. And I did my five mile run. And now I'm going to work on some of my college work. As you all know, I'm 62 years old and I go to college. So I will talk to you all soon again. Bye-bye.